Hi there, and welcome to my review for All the Money in the World, the latest film from Ridley Scott. The story follows the kidnapping in 1973 of Paul Getty, the grandson of John Paul Getty, the richest man in the world, who at the time refused to pay the ransom. And the film then follows the actions of Paul Getty's mother to try and get her son back, whilst her father-in-law is pretty stubborn with his money and famously tight-fisted and refusing to budge on anything. It's a mixed film. All the money in the world is so standard, it, there's not much to say about it. Ridley Scott, who is one of the best directors working in Hollywood because he just knows how to make a good movie, he's a director who basically has vision, but really the quality of his movies comes down to the strength of the story they're telling because he's not a writer-director, he's just a director, and so when you give him something like Blade Runner or Alien, he turns out masterpieces. In recent years, The Martian and Prometheus were both pretty great. But then you get, you know, lesser works based on poor scripts. And all the money in the world kind of falls into that camp of lesser Ridley Scott. It's okay, you know, it's certainly shot with Ridley Scott's usual proficiency. It's technically well made, it's really, really tense, it's well acted, the shots are all beautiful, it captures the era pretty well. But there's not much to it, it's fairly standard historical storytelling. There's only really one thing of depth in the story which is to do with what does it mean to be super rich. There's some sort of thesis sort of presented that maybe if you have a lot of money then that is only a substitute for a certain thing that's missing from your life. Perhaps in the case of this film which tries to imply that the lack of family is John Paul Getty's thing that is missing in his life. But I find that kind of an unexplored aspect of this film and also just kind of hogwash. I don't really think it's that true. Having said that, the All the One in the World is certainly not boring, it's certainly not terrible. It is genuinely tense and exciting, it's really well acted. Michelle Williams and Mark Wahlberg are really, really great. A more significant note is Christopher Plummer as John Paul Getty, who, as I think everybody knows at this point, replaced Kevin Spacey. And Christopher Plummer is probably the standout here. He really brings a character and a kind of humanity to a person who may not be that warm and friendly from the storytelling perspective. He's certainly a bit distant in many regards. I don't think All the Money in the World is badly put together. I don't think it's boring. If you want sturdy drama well told by seasoned professionals, this is what you're going to get. It's that kind of prestige movie that just sort of works for what it is. But it's not exciting. You know, Ridley Scott's other film this year, Alien Covenant, was a lot more exciting because I at least had something to explore. There's nothing really explored in all the in the world that you don't really kind of already know. It's kind of cheesy, you know, there's a couple of bits that are just kind of predictable. It's certainly just well made and it's certainly impressive that Ridley Scott reshot so much of it in, you know, 10 days. But having said that, that's not a surprise. Ridley Scott is a very efficient filmmaker. He, he turns out movies quickly and regularly and not with a high quality. I don't really have much else to say. There's really nothing to say here. It's a good drama well made with nothing to really make it stand out. It's a sort of film I'm going to totally forget about pretty soon. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's pretty meh. I have to say just overall, it's just an okay film. I'd love to hear what you think of All the Money in the World, so please leave me a comment. If you like the video, give it a like. You can subscribe for more reviews. If you want to keep up with my movie opinions, you can follow me on Twitter or Letterboxd, the link's in the description. And All the Money in the World, it's just an okay film.